Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. The Third Eye. Hope you are all healthy, wealthy and happy in your lives. Today we are going to bring you to a very famous Irish Midland town called Mullingar. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Mullingar, Irish, and Mullingar, meaning the incorrect mill, because it turned in an anti-clockwise fashion, is the county town of County Westmead in Ireland. It is the third most populous town in the Midlands region, with a population of 20,928 in the 2016 census. Mullingar people are very welcoming, helpful, kind, humble and hardworking. You can always see a smile on their faces even if they are going through difficult times. The counties of Meath and Westmead Act 1543 proclaimed Westmead a county, separating it from Meath. Mullingar became the administrative centre for County Westmead. The town was originally named Mailblather, and takes its modern name from a mill noted in the legend of Coleman of Mullingar. Traditionally a market town serving the large agricultural hinterland, Mullingar remains a significant commercial location. It had a tradition of cattle trading until 2003 when its cattle market was closed for the development of a mixed commercial and residential scheme called Market Point. However, in 2014 the local county council have allowed an annual Christmas market to take place on Mount Street. Tourism in Mullingar. Mullingar's main tourist attractions are its lakes, Loch Owl, Loch Derivara and Loch Ennel, which are visited by anglers and the Royal Canal which flows through the town. Also nearby is Belvedere House and Gardens. The town has several hotels. The Greville Arms Hotel has latterly begun creating a mini museum, and also holds the two Brit Awards presented to Niall Horan. James Joyce's connection with the hotel is marked on the premises. One of Mullingar's notable buildings is the Cathedral of Christ the King Mullingar, the Cathedral of the Diocese of Meath. The cathedral was dedicated on the day World War II broke out. Column Barracks, which closed in March 2012, 
was a military base that housed the 4th Field Artillery Regiment, the 4th Field Supply and Transport Company and the HQ of the 54 Reserve Field Artillery Regiment, Army Reserve. The 1916 Centenary Monument Green Bridge Mullingar was unveiled by Councillor Billy Kellantine MCC on Easter Monday 2017. Mullingar Tidy Towns were the organization that built this monument in memory of the 1916 Easter Rising. 1916 Monument. Mullingar Town Park, Irish, Perk Valuan Vulinsha, is a public park located in Mullingar, West Mid, Ireland. The park includes a wide variety of playgrounds, a swimming pool and a large pond near the centre. On the 22nd of July 2016, the park became one of 22 public spaces in Ireland to be awarded a green flag. Economy. Among Mullingar's exports are items of pewter ware produced by Mullingar Pewter. Also associated with Mullingar is Genesis Fine Art, which produces gift items. The Pilgrim Sculpture on Mullingar's Austin Friars Street, at which location there once stood an Augustinian friary, was crafted by Genesis on foot of a commission by the Mullingar chapter of Sir Optimists International. Mullingar's commercial sector has expanded in recent years from just a few shops on the town's main thoroughfares, Oliver Plunkett Street, Austin Friars Street, and Mount Street, to several major shopping areas. There is an out-of-town retail park at Lake Point, about 1.6 kilometers from the town. The Harbour Place shopping centre near the town centre, and a development at the Green, on the site of the former Raven Moor and Penny's units. The town has a mix of local retailers and chain stores, and branches of the major banks. The town also has a credit union, Mullingar Credit Union, formerly known as St. Coleman's House. A proposed development, named Mullingar Central, was to have been located between Mount Street, the railway station and Blackhall Street. Planning permission was granted for retail, commercial and residential units. Phase 1, which included tax offices, library, civic offices and county council buildings was officially opened on the 11th of June 2009. Phase 2, however, did not proceed. The Famine Memorial Fountain and a millstone, recalling the origin of the town's name. Castle Street is one of the town's high streets. Mullingar contains several industrial estates including Loch Shiva Corporate Park and Clonmore Industrial Estate and Mullingar Business Park. The Industrial Development Authority, IDA, also has a business park at Marlins Town. As of 2015, only one plot on the site has been acquired by an employer, Patterson Pumps, which is constructing a new plant to which it intends moving its entire Irish operation from its current location, at Mullingar Business Park. Two of the town's manufacturing plants, Penn Tennis Balls and Ducket, both closed in the early 2000s causing many job losses. Other local employers include the Midland Regional Hospital at Mullingar, PM Engineering, Trend Technologies, Takarnak International, and Mullingar Pewter. The town is home to a 25 million euros little warehouse and distribution center. Mullingar has a chamber of commerce which represents almost 200 businesses from varying commercial sectors.
Healthcare in Mullingar. Midland Regional Hospital, Mullingar The Midland Regional Hospital at Mullingar serves the Longford West Mid area. An extension was built in the early 1990s. A change in government, however, halted investment and the extension lay as an empty shell until late 2006 when funding was finally secured to ensure its completion. There are several other hospitals in the town, St. Lomans, which provides psychiatric services to the Midlands, St. Mary's, a care centre for older people, and the St. Francis Private Hospital. Transport in Mullingar. Road. Mullingar lies near the National Primary Route N4, the main Dublin, Sligo Road, 79 kilometres, 49 miles, from the capital. The N52 also connects Mullingar to the Galway Dublin M6 motorway at Athlone to the southwest, and Kells, Uddy and Dundalk to the northeast. The town is served by bus errand services to Dublin, Athlone, where passengers can catch connecting buses, Sligo, Cavern, Tullamore, and Ballin R. Waterway In the 19th century the town was served for a time by the Royal Canal, however displaced first by the railway and then the car, it is no longer commercially used for the transport of goods or people. The town of Mullingar is also linked to Loch Ennell via Lacey's Canal and the River Brosna. Railways Mullingar Station. The Midland Great Western Railway line to Mullingar from Dublin opened in stages from 1846 to 1848, arriving in Mullingar on 2 October 1848. This was to a temporary station, adjacent to the Greyhound Stadium. The original main line ran from Dublin, Broadstone Station, to Galway via Mullingar, then via moat to Athlone, the Mullingar to Galway section opening in August 1851. The present station opened with the branch line to Longford on 14 December 1855. There were two secondary stations in Mullingar, Canal Crossing Cattle Bank was on the Sligo line and on the Athlone line, Newbrook Racecourse had its own station. This was a two-platformed station with both platforms on the down line. These days, the Dublin Sligo railway line northwest to Longford and Sligo is the main line. Galway is accessed from Houston Station via Port Arlington, and the line between Mullingar and Athlone is currently disused. Education in Mullingar the town has several primary schools. Those run under the Catholic ethos are Presentation NS, St. Mary's National School and St. Coleman's National School, as well as the Irish Language Primary School, Gales Coyle and Mullen. All Saints National School is a Church of Ireland school. Other schools serving the town are Educate Together NS, Gales Coyle and Choylin, at Cullion, and Curramore National School. Second-level schools are Colaced Widder, the town's oldest post-primary school. 
St. Finian's College, Loretto College and Mullingar Community College. Colaced Widda is primarily a boys' school, however, the repeat leaving certificate class is co-educational. Mullingar GAA. There are seven GAA football clubs in the Mullingar area, Mullingar Shamrocks, St. Lomans Mullingar, Ballymore GAA, Rahani GAA, St. Mary's GAA and the Downs and Shandono are the senior teams. St. Oliver Plunkett's and Cullion play hurling at intermediate and senior levels. The Westmead GAA team plays its home games at Cusack Park. Mullingar also supports women's teams including Shandona, Mullingar Shamrocks, and St. Lomans Mullingar. Mullingar Football. Mullingar has three adult football teams, Mullingar Athletic, who play in Gainstown, Mullingar Town, who have their grounds in Dalton Park, and Hibernian Celtic AFC, who play their home games in the Raythin community pitch which is shared with Grange United, an under-18 side. There are athletic, hockey, tennis and badminton, golf, boxing, rugby and of course greyhound racing also in the town. There are a lot more in Mullingar town that we could not cover in this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.